Dave Feilbaum. Jim Griffith. Jim, we're here to, uh, to uh, talk about town government, city government, national government, how it works. And we're here to uh, try to educate people as to how important it is to vote. And <clears throat> we, uh, we want to tell people not just how our government works, but also what it took to create what we call our imperfect democracy. It's already 200, my the math says 248 years ago, Jim. We're here today, first and foremost, to say it's time to vote. We're here before our election. It's time to vote. No matter who you're voting for, uh, know what party you're from and what you believe in, it's important to vote. Now's the time. The participation in voting is uh, not very high. It's terrible. We're here to, uh, to, first and foremost, to promote the idea that democracy requires participation. You, you said it very well to me before, Jim. Why do we got to, what's it, what's it take to be part of a democracy? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Voting participation in the range of 50 to 65 percent for presidential elections, which are, we have one coming up. In Massachusetts, our midterm elections are in the range of 45 to 50 percent. And town elections, we have had a town election in Dartmouth where the voter turnout was 6.7 percent. Mm. And I believe that that is not what the Founding Fathers intended. We are not doing a great job at participating in our democracy. And, and the group that you have put together in spearheading coming up in January to begin a series of videos to try to help people understand how our government works is what I think your tremendous goal is. It's, it's very exciting. And it won't be a couple of old guys like us sitting around. We're going to bring a lot of uh, teachers and young students in because we want everyone to understand that it's a goal that, that it requires participation at all levels. Uh, and like you said, even with all the visibility of this election, we may have 60, 65 percent, and we feel like every person is going to be voting. That Even that's not the case in this kind of election, is it, Jim? And of course, the other side of that is when we aren't having a presidential election or election for a governor, um, when we have town elections, almost everything that we expect in Dartmouth, the roads, the sewer, the water, uh, recreational things, those things are typically voted on by less than 10% of the voters. Mm -hmm. And they matter to us every single day. That is exactly what the Founding Fathers meant when they said, if you can hold it. We need to participate. And if we keep on the track we're on now, with this lack of participation understanding, who knows where we can go. It's not about partisan, it's not about politics. It's about participation. Be informed and make a decision. What else are we going to talk about, Jim? Well, one of the things that uh, we do have very well designed and executed elections. In the town of Dartmouth, the town clerk has a, a slew of people, never enough, and voting machines at nine precincts. Um, I can tell you because I've looked at the process that um, our voting on paper ballots is as secure as it can be, is very carefully monitored. There are rules and regulations set out by the Massachusetts Secretary of State as to what gets reported and how it gets reported. And the, the voting process here, and I think everywhere is extremely secure and we should take full advantage of it. Your vote will count, but only if you vote. Well, we just finished up our town meeting and the participation there was excellent, a lot of good conversation, a lot of decisions, votes were made, and those people are active and, um, and that's another uh, way we're going to try to educate people as to how that works. There's many people unfamiliar how town meeting works and how town government works, and uh, that's going to be one of our goals coming in January. So you think we'll start in January, we'll end up maybe uh, with different kinds of uh, participants and speakers and, um, and, and, and uh, individuals who want to get interested to try to help uh, out? It, it is our plan to have a full range of issues that are before the town, issues that are about how government works here and in the state and in the nation, and um, uh, yeah, we hope to uh, persuade people that um, now is the time for you to participate. Awesome. We have this election coming up in um, a week or so, and uh, that would be a great time to start, but uh, I'm interested in the long term. Yeah. I would like more people to participate, 
more people to vote, more people to be part of town government, and that's where we should so be. So our message is certainly now a good chance to vote, participate, but uh, we're here today because everyone is a little more heightened about uh, government and voting because it's, it's an it's a, uh, important election. Right. Uh, so the message is please vote, but look for us in, the, in, the, uh, in January to start that process because we want to build that uh, knowledge and participation enthusiasm. We'll be back. Okay. Good pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. All right. Thanks Thank a you. lot.